Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is a ridiculous Amazon deal. Ridiculous. That's the only way I can describe it. And um, you know me, I, I shop predominantly on Amazon. And I buy a lot of my stuff off the warehouse. And I'm fortunate enough to get nice deals off the Amazon warehouse. But this one was right off Amazon proper, not the warehouse. And here's the story. So, I came across this guitar. It was listed as $97 and I believe 86 cents or something like that. Some crazy number. And never heard of this brand before. Never saw the guitar. It just said Cross Rock, which you can see on the headstock. Little description of the guitar. And what it came with. And the description of the guitar was that it had a spruce top, mahogany sides and back, as you can probably see, a little joint line there on the back of the guitar. It has, you know, typical, you know, uh, budget sealed tuners on the back of the guitar. A little bit of um, black... Um, lining around uh, you know uh, the the top of the guitar and the back of the guitar um, that's basically it I mean it, it is a open pour finish right it's a very very open pour matte finish as you can probably see here on the back of the guitar front of the guitar is also matte finish as well so again it's a it's a it's an all laminate maple uh, boy spruce top Mahogany sides and back, right? Standard acoustic configuration. But today, for a budget guitar, that's nice when you can find, even find a maple, um, boy, oh boy, a maple. Why do I want to keep seeing maple? A spruce top with mahogany back and sides. Very, very similar construction to an orange wood guitar. Very, very similar. Um, has the strap button here, the base of the neck, and here which a lot of people like. <clears throat> it's a very, very lightweight guitar. I would say it's a couple of pounds, maybe three pounds, give or take. Um, the neck is comfortable. It's, it's not super thin, but it's certainly not a thick neck. I'd say it's a comfortable C-shape neck on the, on the guitar. No electronics. But here's the deal, and this is what perplexed me and what made me had a, you know, it forced me to taking a chance on this particular guitar. So, again, described as $97 and, you know, whatever, 86 cents, something like that, right? But it was described as coming with a, uh, a tuner, a guitar tuner, which is right here. Cheap, albeit, but it is a guitar tuner. An all-in-one cleaner for the guitar, right? A bottle of guitar polish and cleaner. A strap, which is, you know, a canvas-based, cheap, but, you know, made fairly well, guitar strap. It's got the Allen wrench inside here as well. But here is the kicker to this deal for $97 and change, right? Comes <laughs> with a hard shell case, okay? This case alone is the cost of admission, right? This is a $100 case at easily, and it's made by Crossrock, the brand that makes this guitar, which I've never heard of before. But they apparently are a decent case manufacturer, and I guess they're now moving into guitars as well. But uh, this case is built like you know what, right? And I'll show you what it looks like inside, and we'll take this over here, but it's a fully lined case right made extremely well nice compartment here to stick whatever you want in it but it's a, it's a fully lined and padded guitar case so that acoustic guitar the strap the tuner and now this one something else that also came shipped with this thing 
Ready for this one, guys. A Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> this RockGo Eagles Bluetooth speaker also shipped. So this alone, according to Amazon and eBay, it's about 60 bucks for this Bluetooth speaker. All right? You figure that guitar case easily is 75 bucks, 80 bucks for, uh, you know, let's let's say 70. Let's go even lower. $70, right? Tune is a throw-in. Straps a throw-in. So let's just go with, now you have a guitar. If this thing is worth roughly, let's say, 60 bucks, and let's say that case is worth seven, that's $130 right now. I paid $97 for the whole ensemble, right? What is this guitar, a negative amount? Or they just threw it in for the hell of it? I've never seen anything like it. This deal was just, and I've been doing a lot of deals on Amazon. This is the most ridiculous Amazon deal I've ever come across for a guitar or any instrument for that, for that matter. Ridiculous. Now, as soon as I hit go and bought this thing for $97 and change, it immediately went up to $287.26. I'm going to put the link below. You'll see it's $287.26 now for this package. Now, is that a great deal? No, no. But even at $187, which is probably more realistic, um, I got a steal <laughs> at, a, at, at $97 for all of this gear. Ridiculous. So I think someone in analytics land at Amazon uh, is smoking some really good stuff because how an instrument, an item, can go from $97 at one point to $287 is beyond my comprehension. Um, this guitar, again, is comparable to an Orangewood acoustic guitar. Very similar in look, very similar in feel, very similar in sound. And an Orangewood acoustic of this type goes for about $130, which is a very economical price for a decently made acoustic guitar. So this guitar alone, if they charged $120 or 100 and whatever, 100, 100 bucks, let's say 120 bucks, would be a very, very fair deal. But to throw in a hard case, a Bluetooth speaker, a tuner, a guitar strap, for under $100, and market at $97 is just madness. And I had to pull the trigger. So that's my story today. Um, you got to shop Amazon. Uh, periodically, they do silly things like this, and maybe based on hits, number of hits, number of views, where they just you know mark down uh, 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 an item to a certain crazy price in hopes of someone pulling the trigger. In this particular case, they found the crazy person to do that, and it was myself. But um, you got to just keep shopping Amazon. Shop the warehouse. You'll find good deals on the warehouse, and shop Amazon for certain specific items and keep an eye on that specific item and you'll see the prices going all over the place. You hit it at the right time during an analytics faux pas and you can, hit, you can, you can strike gold. So, curious to see what your thoughts are on this experience with this guitar. Um, also, curious to see what your thoughts on, on regarding the video. If you find it useful, if you find it helpful, please subscribe. Any questions regarding this line of guitars, this cross rock guitar, fire them below in the questions. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. And guys, I really appreciate your viewing. And as always, be well and stay safe. Take care.